Upper eyelid surgery is, a, it's a super, super, super simple procedure. I mean, it's literally just removing a little bit of extra skin from the upper eyelids. We see a lot of uh, men also in, especially in San Francisco because of the tech industry. So a lot of men uh, wanna look refreshed, but not different. So removing some of that extra skin will kind of open up the eyes without changing their appearance at all. Upper eyelid surgery or upper blepharoplasty can be done both under local, it can be done under general, it can be done as in a combination with a face and neck lift. Yeah, there's usually some, a uh, little bit of bruising and swelling. I'd say, you know, most people should have, to expect to have a little bit of bruising for about a week. The way that I do it, I leave a little suture that stays in for about five to seven days. Once you remove the suture though, you can't really see the incision at all. I think when it comes to facial rejuvenation, you really wanna kind of make everything match. So you don't want to have these really young looking upper eyes and then these really old looking lower eyes because it, you know, if you saw something like that, you just notice that something didn't quite seem right. So I try to keep everything kind of in harmony by doing it together, but I'd say about 50% of the time people want to have both done.